What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. We are here in the vivarium room, the tree viper room, the room that was my office that is no longer my office or slowly not becoming my office. That sounds better. Anyway, so welcome back guys to another episode. Uh, we are here. We got to, uh, we have to do some stuff tonight in here. So I figured I'll film it for you guys uh, since you guys do quite enjoy the stuff I do in this particular room. Um, so yeah, so the baby squams are all doing phenomenal. Uh, let me see, let me flip the camera around here so you guys can check them out. I did have them separated out, but now I'm going to be putting them in individual totes by themselves so I can closely monitor each and every single one of them, make sure they're all using the bathroom properly and everything like that. I was just waiting for these awesome totes to come in the mail. Um, but yeah, so yesterday everybody got a nice long bath. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you got a quick view of that because I said I posted a little video of that in my story. But yeah, these guys are doing phenomenal. Everybody is eating. That little one there in the middle has kind of got shed stuck on his head from when he was born. But other than that, they're doing great. So um, I set up these little totes here behind me uh, to individually separate them out. Got something for them to hide on and climb on. Um, the water bowls I'm actually going to be getting tomorrow because I don't have enough for all of these. But I figure I'll film this for you guys since you guys do enjoy little stuff like this. Now baby squams are some of the easier tree vipers to get started uh, versus other ones that are actually really difficult like eyelash vipers per se. Um, these guys are relatively easy, uh, take food pretty easily as well. Now I do have a couple of tigers in here uh, with some planes. Um, I keep have I've been getting asked a lot lately when I'm going to be selling these guys. I don't really know. Um, I'm going to wait for a couple of sheds before I actually do this. This one's dark. I love this one. Super super dark. Super awesome. But yeah, I'm gonna wait until they shed a couple of times before I decide which ones I'm gonna sell. Um, just in case there is one or two that I do want to keep myself. Um, squams, as they get older and they shed more, um, I, I like to say about three or four sheds in uh, is when their true colors actually start coming out. I actually believe I might even get a red out of one or these, or maybe two of them. So perfect example of a tiger squam, this little guy right here. So you can see the beautiful stripes he has on him. So these guys used to supposedly be very rare, but um, they're not too rare now. Usually they go for a little bit more money than the plain colored squams, but still nonetheless, they're really cool. All right, there they are. So those are the two greens right here regular yellow one it looks like here the tiger yellow another tiger yellow um another plain yellow one here i think that one might actually become red here in the future and then another plain one there but will you have another tote right there well yes i do have another tote right there and we're going to be putting something in that as well but first i need to put lids on all these guys all right so there they are all of my babies doing fantastic so proud of this. So as some of you may or may not know, I've been babysitting some of Justin's snakes as well, um, but their quarantine is now up. Uh, so I'm gonna be taking the baby and bringing it in here along with the other two as well. I need to clean their cages before I bring them in here, but the baby is gonna go in a tote uh, as well. So we're gonna go get them now. There he is, the last of the little guys. This was produced by Justin from the female that is actually now mine, um, which we'll see her here in a little bit. So this snake still belongs to Justin. I'm just very simply babysitting it for him. Cute little guy. What are you doing? Kind of just chilling there. So yeah, so these are two more. There's one here and one there from Justin. Um, some little green guys. Again, babysitting them for him, but uh, they're done with quarantine, so they're gonna come into the snake room now. Uh, these two are gonna stay 
in these containers because they are a little bit bigger. But I do need to clean out their uh, Tupperware a little bit, change paper towel because there's some poop in there, but that's okay. It's pretty crazy. This one's got like a little nub tail. You see that? It's not normal. Don't know what happened to it. I don't know if this is a wild caught snake or not, but uh, yeah, part of his tail is missing there. Pretty crazy, look at the yellow belly. So this is a very pretty snake. It's a very light colored squam. This one is super cool looking with the black. Ugh, gorgeous snake. So if you actually look very carefully at his nose on the right side, there's some stuck skin there. I'm actually gonna have to soak him tomorrow and try and pull that off because I don't want to leave that on him. All right, so Justin's stuff is done. So now that his stuff is done, we can get back to doing some of my stuff. There is one more snake um, that he gave to me for doing this for him, but uh, yeah, I'll deal with her tomorrow. So enough squams for this episode. Back to some other stuff. So I actually did um, get a shipment of something in the mail today that's pretty cool. Um, very unexpected. That green good good. Um, no, this isn't devil's lettuce. This is actually moss. Um, yeah, really excited about this. So um, since COVID started, a lot of the websites that sell plants and stuff have been out of moss. Um, a very good friend of mine uh, found some from a place up in Maine. Don't even know the name of the place, but he bought a bunch and sent it to me. So I'm really happy about this. So I'm going to be putting a lot of this in the new cage that I'm working on right now for the Waddler's Tree Viper, um, which I'm waiting for more stuff to come in the mail to finish that one. Um, but I am filming that one for YouTube for you guys. But we're going to be putting some of this in the Blue and Solaris cage right now um, and see how well it starts growing. So I currently have the camera on top of the cage. The Blue and Solaris is kind of chilling in the back right now. So let's see here. What do we got going on with this moss? So I believe there's actually a couple different types of moss in this bag. Wow, there is. There's like three different types. Oh, hell yeah. So this is really cool. So this one here looks neat. I don't even know what types of mosses these are, but hey, we're gonna put them in here. We're gonna use this cage as a test cage, see how it grows. This one here looks possibly like some mood moss. Hopefully that is mood moss. Not 100% sure again. Put some of that guy right there. There's some more here. Sweet. So yeah, I'm just kind of placing this here. If all goes well, it'll grow and take over. And this last moss, what is this? Believe it or not, I believe, I believe this is actually sphagnum moss. So this is the moss that I actually have in all of my cages. Uh, the brown, light brown tan looking stuff. But this is what it looks like when it's alive and green. So that's pretty cool. So we're just gonna kind of set this one right. Eh, let's just put it in the corner. Why not? So now when the misters kick on tomorrow, it'll probably bring some of these back to life a little bit, adding some extra humidity with the soil and everything like that. I'm really excited for this one, the mood moss. I believe that is moon moss. I could be wrong. Um, if there's a moss expert that likes to watch me, please inform me, but it's really cool. It looks like a little grass. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, big shout out to my buddy for sending me that stuff. I do appreciate it. Um, I do have, oh wow, there's a couple different types of mosses in some of these. Oh, oh, well then. Looks like my night just got a little longer. I might be putting these, some of these in, uh, yeah, there's like six or seven different types of moss here. <laughs> Sweet. Today's uh, Trimosaurus purple maculatus, or the mangrove viper. 
pit viper is actually in shed right now so when this girl sheds i will be putting her up or at least trying to get some photography of her so to you guys these probably look awesome to me they bother the crap out of me so little things like if you look very carefully you can see some of that pot some of the foam there in the back um, just little things like that so I kind of built these cages in a hurry didn't do them how I properly do all the other ones so I might actually be taking the babies out and redoing them um, also trying to figure out humidity and everything like that because I had a misting system hooked up to them but the misting system I had hooked up to this particular one kept constantly dripping and I can't have that because it flooded this cage I believe it was there was water probably up to about here which isn't bad but it's not great especially if it would have continued so I might be uh I don't know if I'm going to retire them um but I might take those snakes out of there and kind of redo them a little bit um yeah got big plans for this room hopefully um thinking about maybe getting a bigger cage for the squams um, and setting them up in a bigger cage. Underground Reptiles has a four foot by, I think 20 inch by 24 inch tall cage. Um, so this, but another foot longer, two inches deeper and uh, another six or so inches taller. Um, might do that for the squams since I do have 3.2 now. Um, start pumping out squams on a regular basis. Uh, they do breed all year long. Oh, oh, I totally thought the purple one was locked up with the red one already. Um, so yeah, so might might do that. Might keep uh, a lot of us guys that do have squams try and keep them um, here in the U.S. Very much we don't want them imported anymore. Because so many of them are taken out of the wild, not just for here, for the country, but for other countries as well. So, but yeah, the room is looking fantastic. I can't wait to get this last cage done for this wall and put that other snake in there. Um, got some new big things coming here to the house shortly. Um, I'm really excited about it. I hope you guys are too, because I know you guys are going to absolutely love it. So yeah, just wanted to give you guys a quick little update on the baby squams. Um, I know you guys like seeing all the baby stuff. So, um, you know, being a breeder of some of these snakes isn't always easy. Um, you know, there's a lot that actually goes into breeding a lot of snakes. So I'm going to start filming that stuff for you guys more often. Um, like I actually put my Cobras together two days ago. Um, the two monocle cobras and went in there today and they were locked up. So maybe we'll have cobra eggs here soon. We'll see. It's a little early for the hat, um, a couple months early actually, but due to the amount of storms that we've had here in South Florida over the past while, it triggers, with the pressure changes, it triggers snakes to want to breed actually. So that's a thing. But yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you are not already. Smash the like button. Boom! If you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Like always, oh, the tree vipers. How could I forget? I saw the, sh the shirt, sorry. So I finally started getting my own merch. And I like it, but anyway. So this is the first, the very first vivarium I did. It's growing in so amazing. Like, look at that, look at it. This plant is all the way over here and it started way over there. It's growing everywhere. It's doing so well. And she's still a jerk, but she's awesome. <gasps> Bye.